I wanna touch the stars with you. Yeah, baby, baby. With you, I'm winning. I can't lose. Hey, it is me, Wanda B, and I am ready for a one-on-one. -on -one. Did you hear that music? That was California Magic by none other than Gaddison. And guess who I have for you today, one-on-one -on -one with the Gaddison. How are you, sir? Hey, you know what? I'm doing good. I'm just glad to be uh, uh, here on the show with you guys. Thank you. Thank you. We are glad to have you. So we were listening to that too. Love it. Thank you. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Seriously. So, so guys, how did you get your start? Say it one more time. How did you get your start? Uh, I grew up in a, a musical family. And uh, so I was around music all the time. Uh, my great aunt, she was the original singer of a song called Oh Happy Day in the 60s. And my cousin, he was uh, the guitar player for Prince. And and a lot of my family went on to do a lot of different things in music. So I definitely was just around it. And, uh, but, you know, I was, I was one of those little kids in the church and, and uh, you know, kind of found my start there. I love it. So you would say those were your musical influences, your family? Oh, yeah. My, I mean, my family, for sure, was a huge part of my uh, musical foundation and influences, uh, for sure. Uh, but then, you know, I had... You know, I, 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 you know, love 90s R&B and, um, you know, I kind of, you know, found out about Brandy and, and Usher and, you know, some of those other people. And I, and I loved it. And then, you know, I got a little bit older and discovered uh, uh, electronic music. So, uh, you know, kind of all of those things kind of added to, you know, my current sound. Electronic music. Okay, so that is that the feel, uh, the foundation of California Magic? Well, no, I wouldn't say that that's the foundation of it. I think the foundation of California Magic really, or the umbrella, I guess I would say, would be, you know, pop. But I, but it, I, I describe it as, you know, it takes elements from funk, soul, R&B, and electronic music. That, in general, is my sound. I love it. So yeah. who would you say... Uh, who are you listening to? Who are the people that influence you? Who's in your uh, in your Spotify right now? Okay, okay, in my Spotify, I got I got a couple people. Um, I you know I, I listen to uh, there's a um, um, there is an artist. Her name is Her actually, and uh, she's amazing. Uh, Daniel Caesar is amazing. Uh, but I also on the on the more poppy side, uh, there's some up and coming artists like Kim Petrus. Um, I'm also uh, uh, listening to, um, I, yeah, I don't know, just a few people like that. Uh, oh, Toblo is such a, a cool uh, pop artist. Uh, you know, Kaylani when it comes to kind of more contemporary R and B. Uh, so yeah, there's a few artists in there. I love it. So how do you describe California magic? Yeah, yeah. California magic for me is, is are you mean, do you mean as far as genre or just genre? Just everything. Or? What inspired you to write it? What, yeah. what genre? Where did you, what inspired you for that song? Okay. So basically, uh, you know, California magic was actually an interesting song and in how it came about. I, I knew that I wanted to, tell a specific story in my life and um and i knew that i was actually going to do it over a series of singles so california magic was is actually the first of a series of singles that i'm um going to be releasing that's telling a, a, an overarching story but with california magic it was interesting because um I basically uh, knew that I wanted the first song to kind of be more of a summer song, more of a feel good, kind of get, you know, kind of get people up and dancing and that kind of thing. And, um, and so I don't know what it was. I was just kind of thinking through, okay, summer, you know, what is summer? You know, when I think of summer, what do I think about it? I think about California and whatever. And anyway, this phrase California magic dropped in my head and I was like, Whoa, California magic. That sounds really cool. Like I, I like that California magic. And so, um, 
And so it was weird in that I got the title of the songs first, and then I started writing that place. And then I took the title and some of the ideas that I had over to Sherry Short, who is an amazing songwriter. She's written with a, you know, a ton of people, you know, and, you know, Miley Cyrus, Ariana Grande, Demi Lovato, Joe Jonas. Um, and so anyway, I took it over to her and, uh, and the producer crashed and we just started kind of jamming out on, on a few chords and start singing and, and it just, it just kind of came, came to be. It definitely is the song that you let your windows down, let the top down Listen. and turn it up. <laughs> Yeah, turn it all the way up. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. So well, before a show, are, are, do you have any rituals or things you like to do to get prepared before you do a show? You know what? Um, listen, I tell you this. I cannot eat before a show. No? It just, it just will not work. I cannot eat before a show. So I don't need no, you know, all blue, you know, M&Ms or Skittles or anything like that. I just can't. I can't do it. I can't eat before uh, I think I have, you know, before the show, I have so much adrenaline going. and um, Because for me, a show is really about connecting with people and giving. I mean, it's so uh, in, in the best way possible. It's such a draining experience because I'm giving all of my emotion and all of my energy uh, to this crowd and trying to connect. And, you know, each crowd is so different. But um, so I, I think for me... It's just more about kind of centering myself, making sure that I'm in the right head space. Um, so, you know, meditation and kind of just, you know, grounding myself is really kind of my ritual. And just some good laughs before a show always kind of helps me out. Laughter is always good. I really do love the feel of the song because it's definitely a feel good uh, it pumps you up and really gets you excited. It's, it's a good workout song too, because it's just listen. <laughs> put put it on your workout playlist. <laughs> <laughs> it already is <laughs> right. <laughs> I, I will lose ten pounds thanks to California Magic, Addison. Thank you very much. Now, if you could work <laughs> with any producer, do you have uh, someone you'd like to work with? You know, um, you know, my thing with with. Uh, producers, I mean, obviously, you know, there's amazing producers out there that I'd love to work with, and I could probably name a bunch. But I think the biggest thing for me is, is whoever I work with, uh, I like to feel like I have some type of connection. And so usually when I, when I um, am in the room with a producer for the first time, more than just jumping right into the music, I like to just kind of talk for a little bit, give, you know, give me 10, 15 minutes. Let's just connect. And, um, and once I feel that connection, then jumping into the music is a lot easier and it's a lot more authentic uh, when we write something. So, I, I mean, yeah, there's a bunch of, there's a bunch of, to answer your question, there's a bunch of producers that I'd love to work with, but, um, um, you know, the, the connection is the biggest part for me. Oh, I love the connection. I love that concept. And I'm excited about the series of singles after California Magic as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, seriously, I, I you know, uh, the cool thing for me, it's a cool thing. And it's, it's also um, it's also a little uh, how do I say uh, I want the process to hurry up Um but but the cool thing is that I have this series of singles, and like I said, they're they're telling a story, and I put so much detail into this um, to make it interesting, but also to really communicate what I'm trying to communicate, and uh, just just try to tell a really good story. Uh, that's very authentic to me. It's real. It's not like I'm just making something up or making up a gimmick. It's like a real. It's really this series of singles is a is a glimpse into the last 10 years of my life, the last decade of my life. But the, the, the part that's a little bit like, ah, is that I, I want to get it all out to everybody now. Like, I just want everybody to, to, to be able to indulge in the whole story now. But even, even the, the album or the uh, single artwork, all of it points to the story. There's, there's a reason for the colors. There's a reason for the whole aesthetic and look there's 
there's lyrics in California Magic that you won't fully get until you hear song four. You see what I'm saying? And that's interesting. Be like, wow, that's why he said this, or this is what that means, or it takes on a different meaning. So I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited as well. I want to soak up some California magic, but excited to hear the story and really find mm-hmm. out more about it. So you have to tell us, how can we reach you? How can we get your music? Yeah, yeah. So uh, you can basically on any platform, it's, it's out everywhere. So whether you want to stream it, whether you want to download it, however you want to do, it's on every platform. Um, and uh, you can also get in contact with me uh, on Instagram, Instagram is kind of my social media uh, hub, if you if you will. Uh, and so on social media, my name is Gaddison Official, so G A T T I S O N Official. And then even in that link uh, on um, on Instagram, you can just uh, or in my bio, there's a link that you can click on, and it'll take you to the music and that kind of thing. I love it. I love it. I love it. So if you could throw out some hashtags, give me your hashtags before we go. (laughs) What hashtag hashtag. Gaddison? (laughs) Yeah, listen, it's hashtag Gaddison, hashtag Gaddison official, uh, uh, hashtag the story is unfolding. All right. The story is about to unfold. Thank you so much, Gaddison, for this interview. I so appreciate it. Love California Magic. We're going to close out listening to some California Magic. Follow your story. Thank you. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I want to touch the stars with you. Yeah, baby, baby. With you, I'm winning. I can't lose. We're cruising on stop in the drop tops on the hot feeling on still still Got me in the haze, no phase, it's a wild place trying to keep my cool It's the blue Cali skies, when I look into your eyes Falling so hard like the stars on the pillar bar, oh that's what you do And I'm feeling that vibe, I'm feeling that vibe too And I'm feeling that vibe, I think it must be California magic, yeah Make me feel oh, 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 oh. I think it's California magic You got that California magic Oh, no, no, no Sugar I see your eyes and bless in me Yeah, sugar, sugar Don't be afraid of fantasy Oh, 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 I'm caught in the breeze, feel you all over me, oh, I know that it's real. And I'm feeling that vibe, I'm feeling that vibe too, and I'm feeling that vibe, I think it must be California magic, yeah. Make me feel all alone. I think it's California magic. You got that California magic. Oh no, no, no. Give me some of that. That California good love. Give me some of that. That California good love. Give me some of that. That California good love. Give me some of that. That California good love. Ooh, and I'm feeling that vibe. I'm feeling that vibe too. Ooh, and I'm feeling that vibe. I think it must be California magic. Yeah.